hi (uh) so (uh) today I am going to teach you how to use the arduino tinkercad okay (uh) to write a code (uh) for the P_W_M and observe the output of this P_W_M pin right okay first thing first what we need to do is we need to find an arduino board okay to find the arduino board you just type (uh) arduino you just type (uh) at the component part here okay there is a arduino oops sorry okay then you drag the arduino here in your workspace okay you can rename the arduino I always rename it okay okay then second you need a breadboard sorry you type here B O A R D okay you see here a lot of breadboard so you take either if you want to use the uh, the normal breadboard which is the the long breadboard you can use this one or you can use the breadboard mini so in my case I just use uh, the breadboard mini because we're not going to use any uh, we're not going to use a lot of components and therefore the breadboard mini is suitable eh? okay so this one I rename it right as you can see here when you touch the breadboard mini or your breadboard Okay, when you touch this one line, there is a one dotted line that is connected to each other. So, meaning that for this line, this line is connected internally by the breadboard. Okay, so meaning that if you have one component here, for example, if you have component 9 here, okay, and then you put component 13 here. So, now 9 and 13 is connected. Okay. If you put uh, pin 13, okay, delete. Okay, if you connect pin 13 to the next line, they are not connected. Okay, so please be careful with the breadboard. See which line is connected. So, uh, if you if you really need to connect the the component with other components, you can use in one line. But if you don't want to connect that one component to another component please make sure that you put it in the different line okay uh, because this line can easily make you uh, short circuit uh, your your circuit right okay now for this PWM I just want to use one component only which is LED okay so you type the LED okay type LED and put anywhere in the on the breadboard okay so I always rename it okay now you see the cathode here is in this line of the breadboard okay and then the anode is here so cathode is the negative part of LED and anode is the positive okay so the negative part of the LED I will connect to a ground okay so I find one ground pin at my Arduino and connect it to the cathode of the LED. So you you are connecting uh, this uh, the part of cathode to the ground by using the same line of the breadboard. Okay, you can always uh, put a different color for the wire. So normally for ground, I will always use black. Okay, the standard color for uh, for ground. Right, and then for PWM pin, remember. Only the curly symbol at this number shows you that pins are for PWM. Okay, so you can choose any pin. So in my case, I want to choose 9. Okay, then this 9 you connect to the anode of your LED. Right? Okay, so the connection is correct. Okay, so I will put another color. I will change it to uh, red color. Okay, because this is positive line. And negative line is for, for cathode. Okay, now after we have connected the circuit successfully, then we must do our coding. So you choose text. 
okay so in this coding there are actually a preloading code here okay it's a preloaded code so you can use it or you can use i mean you can simply uh, delete it but in this case i'm going to start the code from scratch okay so the pin mode here now is pin 9 so you change 9 to 13 13 to 9 okay if you want to use a variable for example like uh, my LED equals to 9 you can use a variable and then at this pin mode function you can use my LED okay meaning that you send the number 9 to this function okay okay so now remember the syntax programming for PWM pin is analog write okay because uh, PWM it uses the digital pin to write the analog output all right and therefore you need to use analog write so you analog write okay so the syntax here is analog write what pin my LED right and then here is your PWM value so the PWM value can be chosen in between 0 to 255 okay so you can choose any value so for example I would like to choose 50 okay so what happens uh, what will happen to my circuit okay so we close the code and then we start simulate there is an error why let us check oh okay sorry I need to declare it as integer for us. sorry eh? Okay, I forgot to declare it as integer. Okay, now we look back into our code. So, uh, I have uh, include the integer here. Okay. So, we start the simulation. Okay, now you can see the LED is light up. It's illuminated. But, at certain... Uh, at certain bright. Okay. The bright is different. So what happen if I choose another value of PWM? So I choose 150. So what will happen to the circuit? Okay, so we uh, so please observe the color of the LED. So the color is brighter than the previous one. Why? Because uh, the voltage level is different okay for 50 uh, for the value of PWM 50 the voltage level is lower than the voltage level during PWM at 150 all right so uh, this is uh, the result of using the PWM pin but actually you can see the waveform that is generated through this pin so to, to see that waveform you can always use an oscilloscope so you can find oscilloscope here okay we have an oscilloscope here so you drag the oscilloscope all right okay you drop the oscilloscope okay and then you connect the oscilloscope okay so the negative part you connect to the negative part of the led which is here you can connect in the same line okay at the uh, on the breadboard and then I always like to put a black color for negative and then for the positive part of the oscilloscope you connect to the positive part of the LED okay okay now at this uh, value uh, the PWM value is 150 okay we can observe the output of the um, waveform that is generated from this pin so we start simulate okay so there is nothing 
okay there is something in the waveform okay but maybe we need to 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 play around with the time per division okay maybe i want to i, I can use one millisecond let us see what is the output is it going to change the the, the waveform Okay, so we change it here first. Okay, and then we start the simulation again. Okay, now you can see the waveform of this PWM pin. Okay, now we stop the simulation. Okay, what if we change uh, the PWM value to 50? Okay, when you change the PWM value to 50, you see the output. Okay, the pulse width become smaller. Okay, and then you know that when the pulse width is become smaller, so the duration of on at this point uh, is shorter, and therefore the output coming out uh, at this LED, the color is not so bright. Okay, it it, it does not bright like the previous one uh, because the voltage level here that has been uh, output by this pin nine is smaller. Okay, now let us stop the simulation. We change to 200. Okay, and then you, you start again the simulation. So, when you change to 200, the value of the pulse width here becomes bigger. Okay, so meaning that the duration of the on state is longer. Okay, so when the duration of the state is longer, so the output voltage here is higher. Okay, now we stop the simulation. Let us see, do we have a, a multimeter here so that I can show you? Okay, we have a multimeter here. Okay, good. So we can see the voltage level during the process. So this is multimeter. Okay, so the output that we are going to see is voltage. Okay, so again, the negative part, you connect to the negative line of the LED. Okay, and then the positive, you connect to the positive line of the LED. Uh, red, alright. So now, currently, the value of the PWM is 200. Okay. So we will see what is the value of the uh, voltage. Okay, it's counting the voltage. Okay, the voltage here is 1.82. Okay, we stop the uh, simulation. And then we try to change to 50. Okay, we'll see the output. The voltage level is lower. Okay, this is example. Okay. That's why uh, the color of the LED is quite dim. Okay, the brightness is low because the voltage... Uh, coming out from this pin is low okay compared to the higher value of PWM right so this is uh, how are we going to use the uh, the PWM pin uh, to generate the analog uh, waveform by using the digital pin okay you must use this function okay so I hope uh, this lab will give you some overview of the PWM uh, implementation using the Arduino Uno development board. Okay, see you again in, in the next lab.